want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I'm done. I finished the first binding by R.R. Verdi, and I don't have to read this book anymore. I'm so excited that I don't have to read this book anymore. I am going crazy. This is the, this is the worst book that I've ever read in my life by a lot. This it's a my very first zero out of five score. And I am, I have this amazing feeling right now of, I'm battling with this intense excitement. I, I'm done. I, I never have to read any, any words from this again. Um, and I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm disappointed. Um, I, and I'm mad at a lot of people, not just uh, the author of this book. Um, let me start with Goodreads. I am very mad at Goodreads that I cannot give a zero out of five score. Um, apparently, I have to give this book a one out of five. Um, which does not reflect my true opinion here. And uh, yeah, so I'm disappointed by that. Um, very angry. I need to write some sort of angry email to somebody that's never going to read it. Um, and I am mad at myself um, for pushing myself through this and uh, doing a booktube channel where I am committing myself to uh, informing you about my thoughts on things. Uh, if I was not doing a booktube channel, I would not have finished this book. And I am mad most of all. Uh, to this author, R. R. Verdi, who I'm sure is a very nice person, but uh, I have some beef with this guy uh, for writing this book. And uh, I try to, I feel like I, I've been kind of known as being kind of nice on this channel. And even when I kind of get, get upset with books, I do it from a, from a place of, of somewhat kindness. And I, I try to say nice things. Um, and I try to say what other, you know, the, the people that like this, I understand their perspective. Oh man, I can't do it. Maybe I'm ruining my reputation here. Uh, but I hate every single thing about this book from the first page and most certainly the last. Uh, I hated that part too. Um, but I did actually find some enjoyment out of reading this because, you know, have you ever watched like a really, really, really bad movie um, and it was actually so bad that you got to get some enjoyment out of it? I, I got that here. And I actually had a fun game going on uh, because... Uh, I noticed, as I think a lot of people when they read this book, um, in the first page, you're going to say, oh, this uh, reminds me a lot of The Name of the Wind. And then as you read along, you're like, this um, reminds me even more of The Name of the Wind, but maybe those comparisons are going to stop. You know, I read um, The Green Boat Saga recently by uh, Fonda Lee, and in the first book, uh, Jade City, uh, it is reminding me of The Godfather a lot. In fact, there's some scenes that feel uh, directly ripped from The Godfather. I don't want to ruin anything about that book because uh, it's incredible and I think you must go read it. Um, and I encourage you to watch my review. Click up there. Um, but it, it departures from uh, The Godfather very quickly into that book. And I thought, you know, oh, you know, the, the reviewers know what they're talking about. Everything I've read about this book says, it, you know, it has inspiration from The Name of the Wind, but it is its own thing. And I'm like, oh, let me just, um, I can't wait for that own thing to happen. But, and I'm, I'm not using hyperbole here. As I went along with this book, the similarities got more like Name of the Wind to the point that it was not, anything other than a badly, badly written fanfic. It's as if there was a teenager who is very pretentious that read The Name of the Wind, and then a year later, not immediately afterwards, because it might have been okay immediately afterwards, a year later they said, you know what, I'm going to try to write The Name of the Wind again, word for word. Um, and obviously there's a year gap there, so they're going to miss a lot of stuff. Um, but that's what it felt like here. Because there was not just themes ripped here. It wasn't just writing style ripped here. It was scene for scene as we went along in this book. It's insane to me. Yeah, I have another person I'm mad at. The editor of this book, the publisher of this book. How did this book get published? I, I, I think the only way that it's excusable that this book got published is if they had never read The Name of the Wind and they read this and they go, oh, this is original. Um, because if the, the, the publisher read The Name of the Wind, uh, or, or the editor, I don't know how the writing process works, uh, clearly. And they would have said, they would have laughed R. Verdi out of the room. If I termed in a term paper in college that was that similar to a source material, not only would I be kicked out of college, but the professor would literally laugh at my face for the pathetic attempt. I would get an F if I did one-tenth of the similarities here.
than what R.R. Verdi did to Patrick Rothfuss. It is insane. So I did a little writing exercise as I was going along and reading this book, and I started to write down all of the similarities. And I ended up with 26 of them, and I thought it would be fun for me to go down those 26 and read them for you. Now, I will put a disclaimer here, and I don't like to do spoilers, but I am going to spoil this book. So if you do not want spoilers, then I would encourage you to click down below in this video. I'm going to do timestamps, and I will timestamp when the spoilers begin, and I will timestamp when the spoilers end. And I also put some band like right about here uh, that tells that our spoilers are on. So wait until that is gone. However, I will say that if, is if you have read The Name of the Wind, these are not spoilers for you because this is the same book as The Name of the Wind. So don't worry. If you've read that book, do not worry. Uh, nothing here will shock you. Uh, it's the same book. So let's start from the beginning, shall we? In the first paragraph of this book, it comes off in this poetic style, talking about stillness. That's very similar. It, it, it shoots out of the gate doing this whole stillness intro, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, and it tried to do this poetic style. And the writing style here, it's trying to be poetic, but it fails. It's like, it's off key. It's like if you ever listen to a song that's just off, that's what this felt like, the poetic style. It didn't come off poetic. It felt like he was trying too hard to be poetic, and it did not work. Um, whereas Patrick Rothfuss, who I know for a fact, because I've, I've looked into the writing style that he goes in his writing method, and he painstakingly writes every word and rewrites it and rewrites it to try to make it perfect. But it comes off like it comes flowy, like that, that's what comes off on his first draft. Just the way it's so smooth. This is clunky. It doesn't come off like that. It comes off like somebody trying to copy. Um, the, it starts in an inn. Um, the protagonist is this young guy who's extremely wise beyond his years. Um, this is about a mythic hero who is telling his life story uh, using a framing narrative. Um, he's very quickly on, you find out that he has a special cloak with magical properties that was made by a fairy. Uh, in the first scenes, you find out that in this inn, uh, it's demons arrive and the tavern is attacked and he is attacked. Uh, you find out that he is a musician. Uh, he plays, I don't think it's a lute, but it's, uh, it, it feels like it's a lute. Um, he is, as a young boy, he's in a theater group. Um, they, they both in this have somebody that's holding a song or a story hostage from them. Um, their, their parents were both killed by this evil ancient beings who were uh, trying to stop the story from being told uh, in public it, it, during a play. Uh, it's, it's the same thing, uh, like identically. Uh, there is a love girl interest here who has a lot of secrets and she also sings. Uh, the relationship with this girl is uh, somehow similar but even more cringy than Patrick Rothfuss writes. Uh, he's got this mysterious magic teacher in the first act uh, and they have this long training montage at the beginning and then the, tra the, uh, the instructor dies uh, and he has to go on another quest. Uh, the, the, the boys in both of these books are way too clever for their teacher's liking. Uh, he then goes on a, and uh, I, I will coin uh, Ben from Books with Bengus Khan, who uh, turned me on to how horrible this story was. Uh, he warned me. He, I, I, everyone was saying this book is awesome, and then he said, Matt, this book is atrocious. Uh, so go check out Ben's channel. He rocks, by the way. Uh, but Ben coined this as the Oliver Twist portion of the story, which is just out of uh, Name of the Wind. Uh, it happens immediately after uh, his whole family dies and his troop dies. Uh, and when he's trying to go find himself before he goes to the magic school, uh, he uh, finds out that the, the magic must, you can never let somebody have your blood because of what they can do with magic. Um, he finds out that this magic school he wants to get into is way above his station. Um, the uh, protagonist in this story claims that his story is a major tragedy. Um, eventually, uh, he gets into a school to learn magic, and he pisses off one of the masters, and the other masters who teach magic 
uh, the, the one that eventually teaches him is like offbeat and kooky. Um, there's a scene um, during his university admissions that is a virtually word for word identical to what happens in The Name of the Wind. Um, as you advance through this school, um, they, they give you these items that denote that, uh, how much progress you've made. Um, the, the basic way that they show their skill is with tasks associated with a candle. Um, their powers are elemental in nature, you know, wind and fire and stuff like that. Um, the magic is about splitting the mind in one, in one story, and it's about uh, folding the mind in the other one. Um, there is an addictive drug that turns your teeth white, um, and when they push their abilities too far, they can injure themselves or other people. Um, and uh, maybe, maybe worst of all, um, there is a religion where the ultimate creator is said to have come in the form of a mortal body uh, with the aid of a moral human mother uh, and is known as the son himself. Uh, I'm sure there are more. Uh, that's just what I wrote down. Now, this is crazy. This is insane to me that this book got published. It's, um, this book is not up the same alley as Name of the Wind. It's the exact same alley that has a little bit different like mural on the wall. That's the difference here. Now, it, it, it's not just the copycat nature of this that makes me hate this book. It's everything about the book from the start to finish also. So I just don't get it. I don't get how people like the story. So I mentioned that the writing is god awful. Um, it's, it's like a teenager trying to be smart somehow. It's written in the first person but it's acting like it's the third person, like no human being in the history of human beings has had an internal monologue like this. It's like the height of being pretentious. It's, it's crazy. Um, the book somehow gets worse as it goes along and it, and it culminates in arguably the worst ending that I've ever read in a novel. It, it's crazy. Um, there's cliches galore. Uh, the, the side characters who you would think maybe the, there's some redemption value to be had on these side characters, but they're, they're literally just one dimensional. You get nothing but them. They don't grow. They're just, they are what, you know, they are what you see in the beginning and that's it. They don't have any layers to them at all. Um, the romance in the story is just so cringy. Again, it's like a teenager wrote this, like a really horny teenager. Um, and it's just trying to write this character that's just so cool and, you know, this weird sex plot. It's just, ah, oh. the level of detail that Verdi goes into writing this book, it's like, it, it's like Robert Jordan is concise compared to, to our, our Verdi. There's a scene where the entire page that I read it was like at least four or five paragraphs was about a drawer opening. I'm not, this isn't like a, like a loose example of something. Literally an entire page was devoted to a drawer being opened and describing it in this immense detail and this uh, flowery prose that did not work. Um, so I cannot, uh, I cannot recommend this book less. I cannot understand how anybody would like this book. I guess, you know, if you read Name of the Wind when Patrick Rothfuss came out with this book a long, 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 long time ago, over 10 years ago, well over 10 years ago, then when you read this book, you might think that there are similarities because you've probably forgotten a lot of the details. I happen to have read Name of the Wind uh, not very many months ago, and it is in my brain. You know, it's the second time that I read the book. I remember a lot of the details, a lot of the details. And so maybe that's why I'm catching onto it more than others. But you know, I, I've, been, I've been reading some reviews for this as I was going along, just hate reading this book, just hating everything about my life. I, I hate, I hate my life. I hate reading. Um, I just want to curl up on a ball and never wake up again. Um, I hope that the next book I read uh, can, can lift me out of this funk that I'm in. I now get uh, this reading slump. Uh, I was not aware that a single book could, could enter you into a slump. I thought it was more of like this overall thing that could happen. Um, but, but yeah, I just, <sighs> I just so upset. I'm so mad at everything and everybody. And uh, I'm mad at myself. So I don't know that I could, I could go further on this. Um, 
where was I even going? I, I got so riled up, I, I just totally forgot my point. Um, and I don't like to edit these videos, so I'm not gonna go back and fix uh, this ridiculous last like 45 seconds. Um, but oh yeah, so I was reading reviews of this book and that, you know, and reading the people that kind of agree with the perspective that I was taking. And, you know, a lot of people said that, you know, they, that they hated the book for the same reasons, but then I read all the top reviews and they're like, yeah, it, you know, it's kind of similar to the name of the wind. It's not, you know, it's a little similar. Ah, what? I don't get it. I don't understand what you people saw in this. I don't understand anything about anything anymore. So I'm going to end this review. Uh, I'm sure that you've stopped watching this by now because I'm just rambling maniac here. Uh, I, I don't, I, I promise I'm going to try not to be like this in the future. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I have to be like this, but I think that this author needs to have somebody rip into him. Uh, I think people are handling this with too many, too much kid gloves and trying to be nice to this author. I don't understand. I think he deserves to be raked over the coals, not literally. Um, I, don't, I don't wish pain on anybody. Um, but, you know, he, I'm no lawyer, but he should be sued for what happened here. I don't know if that's how intellectual property rights work with books, but I, I've never seen a work of art that is, that is ripped off something as strongly as this one ripped off. And, I, you know, I suspect that I don't know why Patrick Rothfuss hasn't sued this guy. Maybe, you know, Patrick Rothfuss has so much negative energy devoted to him for not finishing up that third book that, you know, he doesn't want to, you know, get ripped for somebody that's probably going to finish up his uh, trilogy before Rothfuss does. So I don't get it. I don't get anything. I'm going to leave off there and I hope that you pray for me. Just pray for me <laughs> that I can get out of this slump and I can get back to reading something that I actually enjoy or at least like. A two out of five. Just, just at least let me have that. Um, so that's it for me. I hope that you have got some enjoyment out of watching this. I hope that you avoid this book. Or you know what? Better yet, I hope that you like it. I hope uh, you get it for free at the library and that you don't give a cent to this author for something that he's stolen uh, and that you can get some enjoyment out of this because I certainly didn't. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching and as always, happy reading to you and happier reading to you uh, than I have myself. Thanks again to my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier patrons, Sky, Russell, Ron Reich, Romeo Mike, and CJ.